Our next speaker is at the top of his industry as an executive coach, has written multiple books that have become bestsellers. All the way from Stuttgart, Germany, please help me welcome to the stage Dr. Martin Emrich. Hello, Johannesburg. So good to be here. I'm so, so, so excited. And it's beautiful. You really look beautiful from, from up here. So it's so, so exciting. Thank you very much for being here. Now, before I start, I have a question. Who in this room would like to know how to inspire others? Just raise your hand. All right. Who in this room and please raise your hand also, would not like to know how to inspire others. Okay, and who never raises the arm no matter what I'm asking? <laughs> okay, well, my name is Martin, Martin Emrick. I'm from Stuttgart, Germany. And if you think about Germany, you probably think about Mercedes and Porsche, and those are actually my clients. And I do like cars, but I'm more fascinated by the human brain and how the human brain works. So this is why I decided to study psychology. So I got a PhD in psychology, but I'm not into psychotherapy. So I'm only working with business people, successful business people. And I found my passion in being an executive coach and a keynote speaker and I really, really enjoy uh, what I'm doing. Now, my speech is gonna be about how to inspire others, how to inspire people. And we need leaders, we need leaders in this world, especially in South Africa, we need leaders who know how to inspire others. Why is leadership so important? Well, to show you that, I have a little experiment, and for this, I would like all of you to just please stand up for a while. And with one hand, you cover your eyes, and with your other hand, you show me where you think in this arena is north. <laughs> Let me see. Cover your eyes. Show me, now freeze, don't move, freeze, and open your eyes. And look around you. <laughs> look around you. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. Now, I happen to have a compass with me. So I know where north is. North would have been here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you may sit down again. Thank you so much. Leadership means making sure everyone is pointing the same way. Leadership means everyone has the same north. Because if people do not know where north is, they do not have this bearing point. They, don't, they do not have this north star. They don't know where to go. And guess what? They go zigzag just like this balloon. And this is not north, remember? North was here, all right? <laughs> so this balloon does not know where to go. So we need leaders. We need leaders. You have to be the north star. You have to be the guiding light for others. And that can be in your family, in your community, in your township, but also in your organization. So this is why we need leadership. Now, how, how do you do that? How can you be a leader? Now, I've developed something called the NOPA strategy, and I'm gonna walk you through these four letters showing you how you can be an inspirational leader. And it all starts with N, and N stands for networking. Now, a lot of people misinterpret networking. For me, networking means being around real people like we are here today. As a matter of fact, I'm just here for half a day now, and I've already made two business deals, and I'll be back to this country as a keynote speaker because I was already booked, which is amazing. <laughs> so networking means being around real people, and it doesn't mean just hanging out on social media. You know, a lot of people think networking is just, you know, uh, 
being on Facebook or on Instagram. We live, a, we live in a world where people click and scroll rather than think and reflect. And we show each other emojis and send each other emoticons instead of showing each other real emotions. So this is not good. And, and a lot of people talk to Siri and Alexa more than they talk to their sisters and brothers, right? <laughs> and this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. So one practical advice, don't take this to your bedroom, all right? Don't take your mobile phone to the bedroom. Uh, I know people that first thing they do in the morning is check their status on Facebook or Instagram. I think first thing you should do in the morning is check who you spend the night with. Yeah? <laughs> and give respect to all those ladies or all those gentlemen that you spend the night with. Yeah? Because those are real people and they deserve the respect, yeah? even if it's just one lady or one man. Yeah? Now, networking means networking with real people um, and being around positive people. And it also means giving pleasure to others. Now, here's another experiment. I'm going to give some pleasure to people in the front row. And let's see if this works. <laughs> so be with people. <laughs> be with people that are positive. Be with people that put confetti in your hair and that give you positive, positive feelings. And last thing about networking, it helps to leave the house from time to time. Because if, if you're only staying in your house using social media, you'll end up getting married to either the pizza delivery guy or the mailman. Yeah? If that's what you want, stay at home. If not, come here. <laughs> come to such events and network with real human beings. Now, next principle of the NOPA strategy is openness. You want to be open um, to people. And if you're open or not, being a psychologist, I can tell from your body language. Now, why is body language so important? I'll show you something. For a couple of seconds, please do what I say. And now, you can remain seated this time, but with your right digit finger, draw a circle into the air, please. Wonderful. And now, draw a triangle. Very good. And now, draw a horizontal line. Draw a horizontal line. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Now, you did not do what I said. <laughs> you did not do what I said. You followed my body language, all right? And this is why body language is so important. Now, one thing you can do, one thing you can do in terms of body language is show your pumps. Why is it so good to show your pumps? It shows I do not bear arms, <laughs> okay? I have nothing in my hands against you. So you can trust me. Trust me, I do not bear arms. So this is very helpful. Now, I had a coaching client, director of a great um, company in the automotive industry, and here's what he did. He put one hand, his right hand, into his pocket and was only using his left hand to gesture. And this was how he was talking to his direct reports. Now, as soon as his boss came in, the second hand came out his pocket, and then he was talking to his boss with two hands, and as soon as his boss left again, the hand went back into the pocket. Now, my job was to do executive coaching with him about his leadership style. So I was asking his direct reports, how do you perceive this guy as a leader? And they said, he's arrogant. And I went like, what do you mean he's arrogant? Well, you see, when he's talking to us, He's only using 50% of his energy. Actually, they said horsepower because it's the automotive industry. So he's only using 50% of his horsepower when he's talking to us. And when his boss is in, he's using 100% of his energy. Okay? So use both your hands, show your palms to people, and you'll be perceived as an open person. Now, P stands for participation. Allow people in your organization to participate you know, this is the old-fashioned hierarchical org chart. Not very inspiring, right? With the CEO on top giving the orders and the rest of the people just following his orders. Now, at least in your mind, turn this upside down. Turn this upside down and put yourself at the bottom 
of a pyramid. Put yourself at the bottom of the org chart and empower people, allow them to participate, allow them to contribute to decision-making. Because for me, leadership is not a medal you put around your neck. It's not a privilege, it's a service you're delivering to the rest of the organization, and leadership is foundational. Now, last letter, A, stands for agility. What does agility mean? It means that you are able to react to whatever is going on in the environment. Now, one of my biggest idols, is Michael Jordan, and he was asked, how could you be so successful as an athlete? And he said, it's very simple, miss a lot of shots, <laughs> but keep taking them, because the shot you don't take is a shot you can't make, and learn from the shots you missed. Now, I was quite ambitious as an author all my life, but Michael Jordan would have said, with my books, I missed a lot of shots. <laughs> so a lot of my books were not so great. As a matter of fact, I wrote 49 mediocre books. Let's call it missed shots. But I learned. Every book was a little bit better than the previous book. And now, in September last year, I finally wrote my first bestseller book. And then another one in December last year. So now I'm a multiple uh, bestseller, which is nice. And I'm a little bit proud of the book, but I'm a lot more proud about the process that I've learned from all the missed shots, now that I've learned from every book. And this is my 50th book, and by the way, it is about the NOPA principle that I was just sharing with you right now. So I'm very uh, proud of this uh, uh, success. Now, my message to you is uh, keep fighting. Keep fighting, even if things go wrong, see negative, experiences as learning feedback and learn from your, your mistakes. And slowly, slowly, you will progress. Now, in a nutshell, NOPA, again, means to be an inspirational leader, to show people where North is, build yourself a good network of real people. Do digital detox from time to time. Be open with your body language, show people your palms. Allow people to participate, you know? enable them, give them empowerment and show agility, be a role model for agility, also for all your people that work for you in your organization. Again, my name is Martin Emmerich. It was such a big, big pleasure to be here. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you.